Hello everybody, welcome back to the Cataclysm. I'm Slash MVC and this is Vernon Ziegler wearing a uh, antique knight's helmet and plate armor overloaded to the max. 93 pounds of carried weight, 70 pounds maximum. The poor guy is just struggling under the weight of all this armor and we're trying to get home with our loot. Uh, this barn is currently our home and uh, <laughs> I don't know if we'll keep the armor or not, but I can't leave it in the mansion. I can't even bring myself to take it off. We've got three zombies over here. I think Vernon can handle three zombies. I'm going to go ahead and catch my breath first. Uh, these zombies haven't actually seen us yet, so that gives us some hope for the future. <laughs> and, um, I normally do not ever, uh, well, I try, I try never to record. Oh, good, they're chasing the aphid. If we just kind of gradually move north, it looks like they'll chase the aphid away. Excellent. I normally try never to uh, record episodes too far ahead of release, because I want to read the comments and react to those. And uh, it's been a very, very helpful way to um, explore this game so far because, man, I would have never gotten so many good pointers if I had sat down and recorded, you know, five or six episodes ahead. It would have been too late to respond to some of the advice that I get. However, <laughs> that being said, today I'm making an exception and I just finished recording the last Vernon Ziegler episode. So if you dropped a helpful piece of advice on the last episode and I have not yet seen it, then I apologize for um, violating my policy. But I just finished up a uh, very stressful 60 hour work week and sat down to play Cataclysm and I knew I was going to enjoy it, but I didn't know I was going to enjoy it this much. Finding this plate armor has just been a hilarious and awesome find. I've never worn the medieval armor before. I'm wondering if I can get enough weight and encumbrance off of this character to uh, to actually make him battle ready in the armor. I think that would be awesome. If we can't do it, we can't do it. <clears throat> and plus, uh, I've never explored a mansion before, so in the last episode, we discovered that there's a mansion at the end of this road, and we've got so many good loots. There's a longbow there, there's a gun here, there's all kind of cookbooks and more uh, goodies that we want to loot, but we are just loaded down. So let's try... Let's try to get home. Now he's going to auto travel until he runs out of stamina, which may not be good. So I'm going to cancel the auto move and go ahead and catch our breath. Okay, very good. And then we'll continue along our way. All right, and before we enter the forest, let's go ahead and rest up. All right. I can face a lot of different kinds of threats wearing this armor, but if we're completely out of stamina, probably not. We're probably just going to lay there. Ooh. Well, I spotted something through the trees for just a second there. Yeah, we'll just lay there like a, the medieval knight that we are while uh, whatever it is um, needles us to death if I'm not careful. So we're, we're trying to be careful. <laughs> Alright. We made it back to the barn okay. Alright, first things first. Let's drop all of our loot-related stuff. So that is... <clears throat> what is in these small cardboard boxes? Charcoal. Um, yeah, let's just drop everything. Oh, let's do this correctly. What I need to do is use my um, drop everything here first. And then unload everything. I think that's the way to go. We'll drop all this stuff. Plant fiber strings. That says one charcoal, but we picked up five, I do believe. I do hope. Uh, we don't need the cash cards on us. We don't need the cookbooks on us. We don't need the cigarettes and cigars on us. And here's all of our uh, food loots, which were pretty good. We got the animal cooking oil so we can work on a spear shaft. I don't think we need any of that on us. And then we've got the meat cleaver and the carving knife for making more knife spears. I'm going to drop the 14 rounds of 762.39 that we picked up. I think we need to make that a favorite. Alright, let's drop all that stuff. Then if we sort our personal zones 
If you'll look back two episodes, we covered this. If I sort my personal zones out, it should unload everything at my feet. So, yeah. Um, it did not. Small cardboard box still has hidden items. And it looks like we didn't get all the charcoal either. But oh well. Alright, fine. Uh, drag this stuff over here and then sort out our st <clears throat> sort out our static zones. Which will put everything where it goes. Except for the cash cards we don't have a category for. And what's our final answer on the charcoal? Did we really only get one of the five? Charcoal, one. Damn it, we need five to make a... Um... Alright, now. Next thing next is to take off... Let's just take everything off but the armor and see where we're at. We'll take off the utility vest and the quiver and we'll take off the messenger bag and we'll take off the knapsack. If we do that, where does it put us? Torso encumbrance 43. Huh. And what's our weight? That puts our weight <clears throat> uh, in the okay limits. Hmm. So yeah, if we have no ability to loot and we don't bring our tools <laughs> or our first aid box <laughs> or anything, um, that puts our torso encumbrance at almost an acceptable level for combat, doesn't it? That's very interesting. Could we just drag our knapsack along with us or maybe push a wheelbarrow or something? One thing I want to see is, can we make a spear shaft? We have a tool with wood sawing of one somewhere. We need a file um, for that recipe, or we need a long pole for this recipe. Long pole. Hmm. I forget where you get a long pole, or if that's even craftable. Is there a related recipe? Okay, this is what you can craft with it. In other words, a much better uh, knife spear. Uh, let's search for pole. I'm not sure that's something you actually craft. Yeah, I didn't think so. I think you may get that from taking apart a coat rack, though, to be honest. So it may be something we need to look into. Also, as far as refitting this clothing. So uh, let's say that we wanted to... Uh, oh, we would want to make a tailor's kit, I think. Let's look here. Kit. Oh, start the mission timer selection. Miscellaneous repair kit. We don't have a wood saw. Yeah, I was looking to see, because I wanted to refit our uh, junk plate mail. And, um, of course, we're probably going to have to refit it with leather and stuff. But I just wanted to find out, because it's a poor fit. So our encumbrance would go down if we could refit this stuff. So that needs to be a goal that we go for. We still got a leather belt on and a fast draw holster on. Um, we still got our ammo with us. Because the army winter jacket can carry some items. Yeah, I'm reluctant to take the armor off now. Still got the quiver with us. Yeah, because if we go back to the mansion to kill zombies, I um, mean, we could basically go and just clear it out. Uh, as we are, I think. Uh, we need to put that fire out. We could go clear it out just like we are. With a few determined moves, you put out the fire in the brazier. What? What does that mean? With a few determined moves. Hmm. Yeah, we could just go back and do uh, mad combat wearing the armor. Except the knife spear is smashed. So we need to craft a new one. Let's look at spear... Make a crude steel spear. Oh, we need drilling. The knife spear requires a spear shaft. We need that pole. Let me uh, let me take a pause right here, and I'm going to look at where you get a pole. I'm going to look on the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Cataclysm. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, you got to disassemble something I haven't seen yet, so that's that. Let's go ahead and make us a new uh, what we're carrying. 
which is basically just a simple knife spear. Or is it the makeshift one? Uh-huh. Just a simple one. I think we can disassemble the one we have and take the knife back off of it, to be honest. Uh, the, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Cataclysm said something about disassembling a screw press. Uh, okay. But I think maybe a flagpole uh, would have a long pole, or... Um, I thought that I got it from a coat rack last time, so we're going to give that a try too, maybe. But for now, let's uh, let's drop the uh, this one here, which is smashed. And let's wield the other one. To the melee minus one. Huh. Huh. 219 moves. Hope they that's the wield. We got no storage capacity. So But I I wanna try combat wearing just the armor. Um what can we actually store? We don't have to loot this time, right? We don't have to loot this time. We can just clear out some of the some of the mansion, and then uh, we'll come back, take our armor off, come back when it's all clear. You know, that's my thinking. Let's just run down here. Let's walk to that part of the mansion. It'll be fine. We'll eat and drink when we get to the mansion. Okay, our stamina is not taking nearly the hit this time. So this is good. This is good. This is actually doable to wear this armor. We can go in and fight and clear areas wearing this stuff. Go take it off, put our backpacks on, and loot. Yeah, this is a good plan. I like this plan. Getting a little worn out, but I think that we would be getting worn out anyway. What time is it? 12 p.m. Okay. Zombie spotted. Where? I don't see a zombie. Okay, we're straight across from everything. Now, the very thirsty part is going to slow us down, I do believe. So we need to get in there and drink some of that Pilsner or whatever they got. Get out from under our thirst and uh, begin exploring the mansion but not looting it. I think we'll drag everything into a pile and then drag it back with us when we get done. Okay, we got one zombie down there. Two zombies. Three zombies. Oh, these are the ones chasing the aphid. <laughs> Still chasing the aphid, it appears. This will be a good test of our new of our new combat abilities now that we've gotten some of the weight and encumbrance off. Let's see how we do. Go ahead and get their attention near these bushes here. Alright, they've seen us. Are they gonna come toward us? Yep. One of them is, at least. The other two look like they're chasing the aphid. Alright, nope, we're still pretty slow. Because uh, I hit her and she was able to move forward and grab us. Oh, she clawed at me. She bit my arm, but failed to penetrate my armor, allegedly. But, it, well, no, our armor did take damage. It doesn't say how much. Clawed at my right leg. So they're getting multiple attacks uh, to our attack. That's probably not good. She's got a pet pack on. Cracked bike helmet. Hmm. I don't know. Fighting in this armor may not be the way to go. But it sure is fun. <laughs> Alright, the zombies chased the outfit away again. And where I left off as I was in this room over here. Oh, we need to smash these corpses. Right. Let's head back to the kitchen and go ahead and slake our thirst before we head in there. Hey, wait. Long pole, do you think? Okay, we can't disassemble whatever is there. That pool Q is considered a weapon. You could use it to craft. No, no, you can't make a spear shaft out of it. Oh, well, that was worth a try. Pool ball is something you throw and not something you practice with, which we kind of knew. 
There's where we left our riot helmet for now. And there's a medieval mace there. Okay. All right, we're going to the kitchen. Got some maple syrup here. Doesn't really give much. Co oh, coconut milk. That ought to give us some vitamins and stuff. Drink a little maple syrup. Uh, I was hoping there was like actually water and so on. I thought there was some um, beer or something to drink. Where was that at? Is it pantry or something? Swimmer zombie, 56 tiles away. Oh, it must be in this other room here. <clears throat> where the refrigerators are. Here we go. Soy sauce. We got any water? No. Get a little quench out of that Pilsner. Beer. Stout. Gives good quench and good joy. I don't want to get too drunk. We'll just have one more. One stout there. <clears throat> oh, we're still thirsty. Okay. Hopefully we'll find some more water while we're here. All right, where are we at with exploring the upper level here? I don't think we've been in this room fully. Zombie child spotted. Oh, hello. Got any bandages? Uh, that's unclean water. Zombie six tiles away. Right through that window. Gouge for 38... And took him down, but the simple spear was damaged by the force of the blow. This guy had some narrow spectrum antibiotics on him. Heard shuffling, I'll ignore that for now. What I want to do is find out where these uh, rich people keep the tools. Is there an outbuilding or something? Okay, we've seen the driveway. Yeah, it's probably in the backyard. Man, this place is huge. Yeah, we'll just find the tool shed, get a tool with drilling, go back and make a real spear. Spotted a zombie. All right, those are the guys that are outside. They haven't seen us, so we'll just ignore them. See if we can find some kind of a tool shed or something. And we got a guy. Let's make him come through the window. Uh, our spear was damaged again. Definitely hearing some noises on the other side of this door. Oh, not a boomer. Oh, there's an upstairs to this mansion. I knew there was a downstairs. Well, it makes sense there's an upstairs, doesn't it? Oh, my knife spear is damaged again. Boom! Eat a chocolate candy. Um, I'm going to peek upstairs. Okay. It doesn't tell us anything. Oh, what do we have here? A fencing saber, intricate cufflinks. Fencing saber may be better than a uh, a stock or a rapier <clears throat> or whatever that was that we saw before. However, I am still looking hunting knife for tools. Really, what's that? A wetsuit hood. I'd like to refit that because that goes close to the skin. We could wear that under our. Uh, Helmet for a little added protection. So this is the pool area. We didn't bring a flashlight, so sorry for the grayscale, folks. That door is locked. If I try to smash that with my spear, my spear is going to break. And that door is locked. What do we have here? A wooden chest. It could hold just about anything. Sneakers. 
another wooden chest. Eat your way to a fit physique, pro hacker secrets, the big book of first aid. Oh, goodness, yes. Uh, this is going to have some medical supplies for us right there for sure. Got a teddy bear. Chemistry textbook. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hmm. Wait. Can we practice dodging with a frisbee? Practicing dodge is still not an option for some reason. practice with the baseball. Okay, I have no clue why we cannot practice dodging. Does it is it because we have no dodging skill of our own? Apparently. Yeah. I guess you can't practice dodging unless you can practice dodging. I'm taking the baseball though cuz I'm pretty sure I can use it to practice dodge later. I want to see what's in these wooden boxes. There's nothing that can be examined. Wait. Oh, you just have to get close to it and it shows you what's inside the wooden chest. Okay, that's what's holding our little games and stuff. Paramedics, the baker's companion. Okay, we're just clearing stuff out, looking for tools right now. Don't get too excited. Here we go, adhesive bandages. No, they don't have the good bandages, unfortunately. Take a gummy vitamin, though. Got any good bandages here? We've got antiseptic. Ah, three good bandages. Can I grab those? Let's see. Open that. Yeah, we were able to actually grab those. Excellent. Still looking for a tool shed. Is there anything in the backyard? We haven't seen anything yet, have we? Okay, we don't know about down here. Yeah, there may be an outbuilding down here or something. More display cases, okay. Okay, clothing galore. Hey, wait. Let's see. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Look at there. There's a hidden door back here. Alright, I have nothing to smash those doors down as of yet. But this right here... Probably a hidden room. There's nothing to get. Oh, it's a display case again. Book of Classical Literature and Time Magazine. Slavering Biter. Uh-oh. He's out there. He can't he hasn't seen me yet. That's a bad zombie right there. I'll close that door for now. Uh-oh. Here comes one. He's going to be faster than us, too, in our current speed. You hear wish. Hey, that's interesting. Look at there, some kind of map. Restaurant guide used. Oh. Oh, ah. Hey, right here, we've got some of those coat racks. I'm going to try... Um, of course, you probably want to disassemble them, not break them. But I think they're all, oh, oh, there's a sewing kit right there, too. And oh, more charcoal, right? We need four more charcoal. All right. Let's go and uh, kill this zombie. 
in an easy place to kill a zombie. Let's bring him over this pool table. What are you banging on, zombie? What is wrong with your brain? Is this a brainless zombie or something? We're doing a lot less damage now. Those are things about broken. Spray can, no paint. Okay, cash card. How's this looking? Oh, it's totally shat uh, totally shattered. That is such a bummer. Well, I guess we could go and exchange our weapon. We actually need to make another weapon at this point. Um, if we examine this uh, coat rack, of course, we can't disassemble it. Can we even get on it? No, we can't. So if we brought our tools down here, we could disassemble these coat racks and maybe make a spear shaft so we could get a decent spear going because this thing is just not cutting it. Um, can we grab the sewing kit? Yes, we can. Can we grab four more charcoal? Yes, we can. Very good. And I guess the scissors in case we don't have any. Um, there's more bandages. No, wait. There's not more bandages there. Those are the ones we... Oh, yes. Look at this. Exercise equipment. Oh, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. With exercise equipment, we can get our athletics up higher. What's our current athletic skill? It is two. However, now we should be able to practice athletics to intermediate five using the exercise machine. We can now practice bandaging also. Can we st get started on this? Let's uh, put it down and start working. Maybe we can get one more level of athletics before we head home and get something to drink. Come on, athletics. What, are you going to make me get totally worn out to get that next level? You're tiring out. Yes, yes. Well, it's 3.50 p.m. also. We've been at this all day. Yeah, I think we'll go take the armor off. And uh, actually, we could drop the armor right here. Put our um, helmet back on. It wouldn't be a bad idea, to be honest. Dehydrated. That's going to slow us down. That's not good. Our weary malice is high. That's not good. We're weary. That's not good. And here I am stubbornly trying to get my next level of athletics. God, I hope I don't regret this. You're getting very tired from all of this hard work. Yeah, and I got nothing to drink. This time, if we don't get it. All right. Nope. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I don't think we got even another extra level of that. Athletics, 88%. We almost got it. No, we're going to have to... Uh, we're, our character is just too worn out right now. This is not good stuff. There's a zombie to the northwest. He's probably in that group. Okay, this is a wounded one. Probably came came badly of the aphid. wonder if we will be able to hold the bread of storm. Nope, doesn't fit in any pocket. Can't bring that with us unless we drop our other one. Um, oh, good. Here, look here. Sports drink. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Give me a sip of that sports drink. And, uh, oh, wow. There was actually some good food laying here. Get a little joy out of this chewing gum. And, uh, let's just eat. Yeah, we're still dehydrated even after the sports drink. Oh, those are MRE packages right there. That's what's containing some of this food, I think. Nope, can't grab it. 
All right, we're going to have to go home, rest, and take off our armor and get back to it. I'm going to uh, take a pause here so we don't just do too much repetitive walking back and forth. Um, I'll rejoin you in the morning. I will be right back. All right, folks, we uh, went home, drank some water, got some sleep. I think it's time. I hate to do it, but I think it's time to take off the armor. And I'm not sure about the helm. Um, I guess I'm going to take off the helm. It's awesome, but I mean, we've got the... Uh, riot helmet anyway let's drop the junk plate armor there and um i we actually left our helmet over there so we're gonna have to go back and get it that's not what i want to do right away though first i've got um something I, I wanted to take care of first of all we're gonna need another knife spear which i hate uh because we still don't have a tool with drilling so i guess we're just gonna have to uh, make another one Uh-oh. We lack a long stick uh, or a knife. I think, though, we can disassemble. Yeah, we can disassemble this shattered one, and it'll give us our carving knife and our long stick back, possibly. Let's take this thing apart. What I actually want to be crafting is... Um, the archery target. So we'll just do that in just a second. I don't want to be your alarm is going off. Oh, <laughs> ignore that distraction. I set an alarm for sleeping. Okay, we recovered a long string cotton pad. I failed to recover a long stick. Let's go ahead and uh, disassemble the other one. Maybe we'll get the long stick off of it. If not, I mean, well, there's probably long sticks laying around everywhere. Failed to recover a long stick. All right, well, we uh, want to get my tools. Uh, meat cleaver there. Where's our tools again? <laughs> Spare parts. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's just grab the... Um, Uh, uh, you know what we need to do is wear the makeshift knapsack and the messenger bag again and the utility vest. Then we can actually go looting and stuff. And then um, we can grab our, uh, let's see, hammer and pliers. Okay, I think we got a makeshift crowbar too, don't we? My goodness. If we do, I'm not seeing it. Let's do this. All. Make. Makeshift arrows. No. I don't know where we left our makeshift crowbar. And let's uh, sort out the static zone loot. There we go. That puts that away. Okay, fine. Next task is um how do we get a bale of hay so do we disassemble this hay here or no probably we use the build menu and we deconstruct a hay bale okay what do we get a long cordage rope and 40 piles of straw still can't craft a hay bale hmm oh you know what I think, actually, it's a construction menu thing. Here we go. Bale. There. Hay bale for archery. Okay. We've got a bale of hay we don't have. Oh, right. We've got to turn that charcoal into a makeshift marker. Let's do that. Makeshift. We need to make another makeshift crowbar, too, I guess. But we're going to make... Oh, no. It was a survival marker. Let's make a makeshift crowbar, because I didn't see that before. And then we're going to craft a, uh, it was a survival marker. There we go. We can do that with our charcoal. 
There we go. Now that we've got a survival marker, we should be able to turn this hay bale into a hay bale for archery. Right there. Bam. Now we can't pick it up. Can we drag it? Okay, do we... Can we grab it like this? You grab the archery target. Okay, good. Where do I want to put that? I was thinking we'd probably put it up here and then we could shoot all the way across the length of the barn, maybe? Uh, there's stuff in the way. Oh, yeah. Here, drag this over here. Grab that. I push it across the room. That looks like a good place. Now I'm going to wield my bow, the modern recurve bow. We need to grab our quiver and arrows. Quiver? Uh, quiver? There it is. And in my inventory. There we go. Grab the quiver. And then the arrows. Wait. There. That's all right. Inventory. Uh, move all the arrows. There we go. <clears throat> they should have gone in the quiver, I hope. Makeshift arrows. Uh, we're not wearing the quiver. Wear the quiver. And then we need to insert the arrows into it. Let's insert the arrows. There we go. Now we're in archer's form. I should be able to practice now. Oh, do I need to mark that as a practice zone? Let's see. Vehicle patrol zone. I think there's a target zone. Mine terrain, mop tile, NPC pickup. Firewood source, start point. Um, fishing plot. I thought we had to designate that as an archery practice zone, but maybe not. Let's look at our practice menu and see. Okay. My marksmanship actually decayed. Um, we can practice that with the gun that we've got, uh, here, let's drop that, down. stop practicing there. We got our marksmanship back up. All right, fine. Now I want to practice archery. <clears throat> no, that won't do it. Intermediate archery. Here we go. Modern recurve bow, which we have. Bale archery target, which we have. We don't have the makeshift wooden arrows. Damn. Okay, the expert archer's form. I lack the basic archer's form, which I cannot practice. Fletching. I can't practice because I don't have... Um, actually, I do have everything I need for that, I think. We've got the crude arrows to practice fletching with. Uh, that'll raise our fabrication to three and practice the fletching proficiency. Okay, makeshift arrows. Makeshift arrows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't do arrows yet. For what reason? Is that a survival skill or a fabrication skill? I'm going to look that up on the Hitchhiker's Guide. I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it seems that the holdup is probably fabrication. And uh, it's not hard to get fabrication for, per se. I want to try to get it through the fletching method, though. If I go to practice here and I look at fletching, I think we can do it. Oh, I don't have crude arrows. What kind of arrows do I have? You need four crude wooden arrows. Um, what kind of arrows do I have? Makeshift wooden arrows. Yeah, thanks, Cataclysm. I just love all these different... Yeah, we can make a crude spear, but not crude arrows. Our current fabrication is... Um, two. 
Well, all right, we won't be practicing our uh, archery yet, will we? I'm going to drop the bow and the quiver right here. Doggone it. We need to go get us um, another long stick, which I think we got them from disassembling this. Let's reload that. Okay, so our current hang-ups are a tool with drilling, and our other hang-up is our fabrication skill. I have gotten a lot of fabrication, actually, from just, like, deconstructing fences and uh, building, repairing stuff. Okay, that's uh, planks. Now we disassemble that, and I think we'll get what we need, a long stick from that. Pointy sticks. Hmm. No, didn't want pointy sticks. Can't disassemble the pointy sticks either. Yep, and we can't do uh, can't do that. So to get a long stick, we need to smash a small tree, I guess. Let's wield our makeshift crowbar for its bashing quality and smash a tree. There's some long sticks. Drag these inside. Yeah, this character has uh, wasted a lot of time crafting the same weapon over and over, but he's got the piercing skill, and uh, hey, it is what it is, you know? Already 1 p.m., my goodness. But that's okay, we'll head down to the mansion and do a loot run. I'm sure we're going to find a tool with drilling eventually. All right, let's wield the knife spear, and we'll store the crowbar in our inventory. And then we'll go ahead and favorite the knife spear. Hopefully we won't have to use it too much. We've still got a pistol on us. Okay. Bandages and the contents of our first aid kit box. See, now here's the thing about that. I was sure I inserted a bunch of things into that first aid kit box and whitelisted them. And then those things got dropped over in our drug area, I guess. Drugs are where? Here? With the foods? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and grab um, hmm, three antiseptic and um, say six aspirin. And then I want to look at our first aid kit box. Okay, it was whitelisted for aspirin. Yep, let's examine that and let's do the pocket settings on that. We couldn't whitelist bandages before because we didn't have any. So... Let's do the whitelist on um, bandages. Is that now whitelisted? Currently modifying whitelist? Yeah. And then we can also whitelist, what was the other thing? Not adhesive bandages, but uh, I'll say... Well, anyway. What are the contents of it now? First aid kit box contains aspirin and bandages. Oh, we want to whitelist it for antiseptic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pocket settings. There. Whitelist. Antiseptic. Hey. Why isn't antiseptic here? It's not listed. I'm going to re remove medical gauze from there. Very oddly, antiseptic is not listed as a possible whitelist. Maybe it's because we haven't put it in there yet. Or is it because the antiseptic is in a small plastic bottle? I'm curious. Insert if we can. Yep, it's because we cannot insert the antiseptic, I believe. Oh, maybe. Here we go that. Ah, there we go. Now we should be able to go into the pocket settings here. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's do this again. Pocket settings. Whitelist. 
Nope, still can't do it. So can I unload the small plastic bottle of antiseptic? Ah, it's because it has to be poured into a container. That is a liquid. All right, pour it into that plastic bottle. So here's my question. Can we whitelist the plastic bottle of antiseptic? Do we even want to? You know what? I just do not care anymore. Let's uh, insert the bandages if we can and leave it at that. No, I don't think we can even do that. What the hell does this first aid kit box? Oh, here we go. There, insert those bandages, please. And there we go. Let's get the hell out of here. Do we have everything we need? Got the spear. We need to go pick up our helmet. And uh, we got no armor on now, so we got to be careful. But we've got bandages and antiseptic and basic tools. Cool. Need to drink a bunch of clean water so we're not thirsty. And there we go. We're fully hydrated. Back to the mansion. a grim howler. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Grim howler is a zombified wolf. Its mouth oozes with a black substance coating its vicious looking white fangs. According to this, it's mildly dangerous. And it is faster than me. How can a zombified wolf be mildly dangerous? And that's what the man said, so it must be what it is. Let's just break north. I don't think there's. we have to fight the Grim Howler, so why do it? zombie here. Either the aphid took care of him or he's revivified. I don't know which. Take those chocolate bars. Thank you very much. This other zombie doing. He's definitely a re res. That's somebody that we uh, neglected to smash, I do believe. Uh oh, what's that right there? Mound of dirt. Hope that doesn't conceal a hidden uh, spider or something. And my knife spear is damaged by the force of the blow. This guy had a flyer. <clears throat> it's a leaflet about the autoclaving procedure. One a sentence catches your attention. Always place your tools into an autoclave pouch before autoclaving. <laughs> okay. That's probably good advice. I don't know. So we've got a can of butane and a refillable lighter and some peppermint patties here. Okay. Great. <laughs> 
And the grappler zombie has been spotted. There he is. Uh, okay, so he's on that area, huh? We really want to be careful not to get uh, grabbed by him, I'm going to guess. Uh, that does it warn me. Eh, it's dangerous. His elongated arms drag the ground. Oh, yeah, these can drag you from a distance and pull you in. I remember these guys, yeah. Although, if I remember right, you know, if you've got some pretty good uh, damage, if you can deal some good damage, you can actually uh, get, you know. Hey, 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 right here is our gun. We left this here. There's our Peretta Storm and our spare ammo and our magazines that we wanted. Uh, I think we can go ahead and grab the tortilla chips and the MRE packages. Let's look inside the wallet. And a cash card with a little bit of money on it. All right, there we got the gun. Um, we left our helmet in the billiard room. Let's put it back on. Wait, it's not the billiard room. All right, we'll wear the wire, uh, riot helmet. Now we're a little bit safer than we were. There was a closet I wanted to look into. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if we could now disassemble. I think we're gonna have to turn our flashlight on for a second. Let's see if we can deconstruct that and get a long pole to make a spear. To me, it makes sense. It makes a long stick. Dang it. Okay, so much for that. And did we leave anything here we needed? Well, under the hood, yeah. Probably gonna need that later. Okay, zombie 19 tiles. I was actually looking for... Um, from the northeast, you hear glass breaking. That's probably the grappler zombie. All right, that's a regular zombie. Not too much to worry about. We'll lead him to the billiard room. It's nice to have our speed back, I'll tell you. Spray can and no paint the man had. Or whatever. There's an actual backpack, though. Okay, we should probably grab that actual backpack. Um, yeah. And then let's unload the actual backpack because I don't know what's in it, but we don't need the... Uh -huh. So then we can drop uh, those things. Let's see, we don't need the scorecard, the $20 bills, the quarters, the pennies, the nickels, or any of that crap. Or that or that. And drop all that business there. We'll go wash that backpack and then swap out our messenger bag and the other thing for that. Oh, did we check this room out? I don't think we checked this room out. So we've got Marsala, a gallon jug of cheap wine, tequila with drinking glasses, Chardonnay fruit wine, Scrub brushes, dish towels, and so on. Oh, look here. Oh, dark call the bacon's old. It's too bad. This character started on day 80-something, so, you know, a lot of the food that we find is going to be old. Skeletal zombie. Now, we've already killed one of these, but he's going to dang damage our knife spear. I guarantee it. <laughs> I need to find a, the drilling tool that we need before we do all this more combat. We could go upstairs. Where was the staircase? Is it back this direction, I think? There's a whole wing of this house, I think, that we haven't seen. Oh, there's the staircase right there. There's no corresponding staircase. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid combat with the skeletal zombie for now, just to save the uh, save our weapon. Let's go up and around. Yeah, I'll go this way. Oh, now that now we've got the grappler in sight now. Straight to the north, and he's seen us. And our weapon's already a little bit damaged. Boy, that tool with drilling would be nice to find. 
skeletal zombie. I think we're gonna have to kill him. Four damage. Five damage. We got that cudgel on us. That would be better to use. Yeah, we left it behind, of course. Hmm. That's okay, because he really doesn't have that many HPs. He grabbed me. There we go, we got him. Oh, hey, water source right here. Is this fresh water or salt water? Yeah, okay, that's fresh water. We could probably wash the backpack. Oh, wait, what is that? Is that another skeletal? Ah, another skeletal zombie. Crap, where did he come from? Did you come out of the water again? All right, let's lead him over here, too. Come on around. Oh, hey, don't be destroying the table, man. Breaking the chairs and everything. Oh, he grabbed me. Oh, he's clawing me. Oops. No, I did not want to wield a permanent marker. Store that in the inventory. What do you have on him? Eh, not much. Uh, okay, he's already smashed. All right, that's enough of you uh, skeletal zombies for now. We just want a tool with drilling. Hey, we haven't seen anything of the south end of this part of the house yet, have we? Oh, dang it. Another zombie. Does this have a high move cost? Eh, it's a little bit higher. Hmm. We're low on stamina. Let's get our stamina back. There we go. Does she have anything in her wallet? Nope, not really. All right, here's the south end of the house. Whoops. Sorry, squirrel. I didn't mean to uh, attack you. Book of classic literature. Okay, we've been in this part of the house, but no further. Let's go down here and have a look. Uh, another bedroom. Got more manuals. Internal combustion fundamentals. Pitching a tent. I don't want to be, uh, that's a good, uh, good information to have. Hmm. Oh, dear. All right, what do we have in here? Bunch of liquid soap there, and that is the end of the house. Okay. I think we're going to have to go look upstairs. If we're going to find tools. I was hoping to find a utility closet or something. So in this bathroom, those are either antibiotics or antiseptics or antipsychotics. Mm -hmm. No tools with drilling. Maybe in the next episode. Oh, we need to go into a walk. <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna die of running out of stamina. He almost did that at the mine two episodes back. Uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I will be back in the next one. And uh, in the meantime, take care.